Today's April 24th, 2020. I'm Brent Nally, and I'm really excited to be here today with Nicholas and Nina from Brazil who are doing fantastic work in the longevity, rejuvenation, anti-aging space on translation. This is really important work that is not very well understood by a lot of people in longevity, the importance of it, and also just kind of the details. So this is probably gonna be a interesting interview for a lot of people in longevity who might not be thinking about this and how important it is. And I personally was one of those people. So Nicholas has been a YouTube subscriber of mine and we've developed a relationship over the last a few months. And then I've also had an opportunity to meet his wonderful girlfriend, Nina. So welcome to the show, you guys. Hi, thank you. <laughs> Hi, Brian. Hi, everybody. And if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell, make sure you click all. It's really important for the algorithms. It's a simple thing you only have to do once so that you can trigger these algorithms and more people can find this content so we can hopefully increase our health span and our lifespan. And you can also follow uh, Nicholas and Nina on social media. We'll have very detailed links in the show notes with timestamps in the description below. So always make sure you check that on my channel to find them and find all the great information we'll be talking about with their translation website, NTZ. Make sure you check all that information. So from Brazil, Nicholas and Nina, please feel free to introduce yourself and share your background and your passions and kind of how we came about to doing this interview. Okay, uh, well, my name is Nicholas Chernovsky um, and I am translator uh, since 2005. Uh, so uh, in 2016, um, I, um, I knew about the, the uh, rejuvenation field, uh, especially because of, uh, of the work of Aubrey de Grey. Uh, so, at the beginning, I I, I just started to read uh, the book uh, Ending Aging, and uh, when I read the book, I understood that uh, I should do something that Aubrey did because he switched fields uh, in the computer field to the uh, biology field. And I realized that I should do the same uh, because I was translating all kinds of uh, materials, uh, important materials like uh, legal or ad advertising or the industry translation. But uh, I realized that there were a more important problem to solve. So I started together with Nina uh, to re redirect my professional activity to uh, the rejuvenation field. So uh, we translated Ending Aging into Portuguese because we are from Brazil. Uh, we translated uh, La Muerte de la Muerte, uh, which is uh, a book wrote uh, who David Wood and Jose Cordero wrote uh, initially in, in Spanish. So we translated from Spanish into Portuguese because uh, I, I'm from an Argentinian family, so I have both languages, Spanish and Portuguese, as my mother tongues. So uh, we translated into Portuguese, and we, uh, as a as a as a couple of translators, we had some advantages because Nina is uh, a scientist as well. So uh, yes, yeah, she is. <laughs> and Humble she will explain. Like... She will explain you to you later, but. Uh, we could make um, uh, a very uh, complete translation. So then we translated um, The Abolition of Aging by David Wood, 
is the chair of uh, London Futurists. And, and besides that, we uh, made some other uh, work, let's say, uh, with LEAF, Life Extension Advocacy Foundation, some dubbing or translations of articles. Uh, so uh, we are, we are uh, gradually going to the rejuvenation field. So uh, what we are trying to do right now is uh, another step in that, uh, in that process. So, uh, Nina? So, hi everyone, my name is Nina, Nina Torres Zambetor. Um, I'm Brazilian, I'm not a scientist. <laughs> Uh, the thing is that I studied uh, chemistry in the university and then I did a master degree. And just because I have some experience with science, Nikos, uh, you <laughs> sometimes say, say to people that I'm a scientist. She's a scientist. No. <laughs> okay. I personally, uh, I personally believe we're all scientists. We use the scientific method. No, but, 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 but Nina worked two years in a lab with... 15 yeah. scientists uh, were making scientific experiments. She published several articles in scientific review uh, papers. So, well, <laughs> <laughs> Okay, and um, I decided that I didn't want to continue uh, in the scientific area because usually in Brazil, it's very hard to, to do that. You you get paid very little and if you have like a master degree or a PhD degree companies usually won't hire you which is like the opposite from what happens in the US or Europe because they think you are too qualified for some reason here in Brazil so I wanted to, to change things and I I already was in a relationship with Nicholas he worked with translations and um, I also did some translations like for my father, those kind of things, <laughs> just for free. But so I had a bit of experience and we started working together. And then when Nicholas, uh, Nicholas introduced me to the rejuvenation area because basically he saw a video from Over the Grey uh, in which Over the Grey explained uh, his, his project, his ideas. And it became clear that rejuvenation is something possible. It's something that we could do uh, soon, not, not in such a distant future. And so he introduced me to this. I was a bit skeptical because maybe because of my scientific background. But then we, uh, we actually met over the gray when he came to Brazil, we proposed it to translate his book. And then my scientific background was important because Any Aging is a semi-technical book. So uh, I knew a lot of those technical terms in biochemistry. And then we began all of this, and as Nicholas was, was telling, because we think uh, it's really important for everybody to, to get to know this, this part of science, to uh, because in Brazil, if you publish a book in just in English, most people won't understand it, especially if, uh, di if it's a difficult book, like any aging. And so we're doing like uh, most of our uh, rejuvenation translations that we have done wasn't for money. We're, we're doing because we think it's important. And we want to expand that to other languages as well. That's fantastic. And one of the reasons I wanted to do this interview with you both is because it very much matches up with what I say on my YouTube channel many times. You know, I'm not trying to get famous. I don't really want to be famous, but in a way I am trying to get famous to get this message out. I want to have more subscribers and follow me on social media and stuff so I can just get this rejuvenation, longevity, anti-aging message out because it's so frustrating that I know all the stuff that I know and most people don't know this and they're wasting their time on other things and COVID-19 right now being clearly 
a virus that's affecting people with higher chronological age and surely biological age too. We're just not testing that. And so this could all be mitigated if we actually put all these trillions of dollars into anti-aging, rejuvenation, longevity research rather than where it's being directed to, for other reasons. So these things are frustrating to me, but I channel that frustration to try and think about the skill sets that I have, the experience that I have, the knowledge that I have, and what I can personally be doing to make an impact in the rejuvenation field. And I feel that you both are doing the exact same thing with your backgrounds that you just so eloquently stated. And you have great background work in translation services with English, Portuguese, and Spanish. But I want you all to talk a little bit about your website, NTZ, and how you don't just want to be known in the rejuvenation field as translation for Spanish, English, and Portuguese. You all want to be known for translation for everything globally, all the languages. So whether it's Russian, Chinese, any type of language, definitely go to NTZ and check it out because we want everybody to know who you are in the rejuvenation field. You mentioned three books and just to be clear, Ending Aging was written by Aubrey de Grey, I believe in 2007. And also uh, not just books, we want you all to be known as the rejuvenation translation services for all digital formats as well too. Live videos, recorded videos, live conferences, anything and everything. So this is the big idea here. And just doing this one thing is difficult enough, but I think that you guys are gonna do a great job and I want everybody in longevity and reju rejuvenation to think about, oh, I need this translated. I'm gonna go to Nicholas and Nina and NTZ. So uh, pick up there and, and share your thoughts, please. Uh, well, in fact, uh, we are, now we are uh, going uh, a step further in, in that process of uh, translating in the rejuvenation field because uh, this is an important thing we, we wrote in, on our website, uh, ntzpublicacos.com. Uh, is, is publicacos is publications in Portuguese. So we wrote that uh, despite English uh, is the most international uh, of the languages, it's far to be uh, a proper global language. You know, a global language, a language that uh, you go to uh, any country and people can speak with you. So in English is far, 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 far from being like that. I can say it uh, because Brazil and Latin America, I, uh, I know many countries from Latin America and Brazil, we are uh, a region very uh, it's historically close to the United States and the English speaking countries. The, the influence here in Brazil of the English speaking countries is uh, enormous, but uh, even though uh, uh, the quantity of people here who can read a book like Ending Aging, it's very, very, very tiny. And let's say uh, Alex Zavrankov uh, gives an excellent interview in English. The quantity of people in Brazil can, can understand that interview. It's it's uh, it's practically uh, any any anybody I would say uh, zero dot one percent of the population. And you can you could think ah, but doesn't matter because people who really can do something about it will speak English and will understand. But it is completely false. This is completely false. The, uh, the, if you take the most intelligent and productive and rich people in Brazil, uh, practically ev uh, everybody don't speak English enough, enough to understand uh, books and, and to understand 
uh, uh, speeches and conferences. Uh, you, you, you take an important university, like we live in a city called Campinas, uh, in, uh, it is located where it is located the, one of the most important scientific universities of Brazil, UNICAMP. Uh, so uh, if you take the, the scientists, the professors, if you, uh, if you give, give them uh, a book in English, they will, they will take like five times more time to read it than if you give a book in Portuguese. But uh, I'd like to say not only this is the case on Latin America, we lived for one year in the UK and we traveled a lot uh, around Europe. And it was like if you, we were in a country that we didn't speak the language, I don't know, like Hungary. And it was very common for people, uh, they wouldn't know how to speak English or Spanish or any language that we do speak. So uh, maybe uh, in Latin America, this is uh, more, uh, more important, like less people who speak, but speak that, uh, speak English well, but uh, in Europe, this is also a problem, right? Yeah, imagine in, in, in China, uh, Russia, and the Arab countries. So uh, our intention now uh, is to expand to other languages uh, 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 using NTZ. NTZ is our translation company, but we want to uh, call, we want to call all the translators of the rejuvenation field to be in touch with us in order we form a network, a large network of translators, but not any translator, but translators from the rejuvenation field. I personally know several translators from the rejuvenation field who I knew only uh, interacting uh, on Facebook. So I realized that uh, there are many translators who like the rejuvenation field, who know the people, who know the technical terms, who knows the main companies, who knows the main organization. And those people, those translators, uh, have a condition to do a translation in the rejuvenation field far better than a regular translator. Because let's say a conference like uh, Undoing Aging or uh, Ending Age-Related Diseases or uh, Red Fest, uh, you have a scientist explaining uh, his or her results in experiments in senolytics, uh, in age breakers, in, uh, I don't know, uh, other field from the rejuvenation science. And people who are used to read papers, to watch the conference, uh, they will uh, translate in a, a most more efficient way. And, and there is another reason uh, uh, for which uh, the rejuvenation uh, field translator could could uh, benefit the whole area. Uh, there is a matter of, of cost because if you have to hire a translator who is capable to, let's say, make uh, the translation of a scientific paper of the renovation field, it's very expensive. A translator who is capable to do it, but uh, so is so is. Uh, but but the, the people of the rejuvenation field, rejuvenate uh, translators from the rejuvenation field, they could understand that that paper is important and it needs to be translated. But maybe the scientists who want to translate it don't have so much money to to pay. So translator from the rejuvenation field could uh, could 
make a cost benefit far better. They could uh, make a, 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 a better price, you know? And, and that is important. We, uh, we want mission-minded translators. People who understand that when you, we are going, I don't know, make simultaneous translation, simultaneous interpretation for undoing aging conference, let's say. We can uh, charge uh, half of a regular company would charge because it's not the same translate, I don't know, the instruction manual from, uh, uh, I don't know, a computer or a, a electronic door of translate uh, an important research from, I don't know, Science Research Foundation. So uh, we want to call everybody uh, who is listening to us. Uh, if you have um, skills uh, in translation, if you are a professional translator, interest in the, in the rejuvenation area, uh, please uh, enter uh, our website, ntzpublicacoins.com and go to the contact uh, uh, section and, and our email is there, is contact at ntzpublicacoins.com. It's there in contact section and send us an email with uh, your name, obviously, but also uh, uh, in which country you live, because it's important, uh, uh, the geography and uh, your email, obviously, but uh, contact information and uh, also which language pairs you're uh, able to translate, like English to Spanish, Spanish to English, or Russian to French, French to Russian, or uh, any any language. Yeah, because uh, the thing is, we. We don't know uh, where the new uh, big idea in the original Venetian area will come will come from. So maybe uh, there is a ten year old year old kid in uh, I don't know in Spain who doesn't speak English, but he sees a translated video from Albert de Grey or some other scientist, and he gets really interested in that. He decides to learn English and to become a scientist. So it's really important for the whole area. Also, uh, all investors and many other people that could help the area. What we want, uh, what we really want is that uh, rejuvenation therapies become a reality. We want that. So this kind of work we are doing and that we want uh, the help from other translators from around the world is to uh, to make this a reality. We want this to happen. That's why <laughs> yeah, it's we're a, doing it. Uh, because language is, uh, is a tool to integrate efforts. Uh, rejuvenation is not a simple task. We need everybody in this. And language will uh, allow to integrate efforts of scientists, uh, organizations or uh, in fact regular people we, we feel the we feel that the rejuvenation field needs needs uh, to be as well a mass movement not only a, a companies movement or a scientific movement uh, Albert the great told told that uh, several times recently that we need to educate the Policymakers. So, how can we educate the policymakers of a country like Indonesia or uh, Russia or uh, Mexico if the people of the country uh, have no access to the latest scientific discoveries? and the, the most interesting companies which are developing therapy. So, in fact, we want to uh, 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 bring everybody to the rejuvenation field. This, this is uh, the, the real reason 
why we want to expand uh, the, 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 the language uh, word, let's say. Uh, so um, here in Brazil is, is very, uh, th there are many people who could do uh, a lot of things in the rejuvenation field. For example, uh, there are two companies, important companies, in the rejuvenation space who, whose uh, owners are, are Brazilians. One is Repair Biotechnologies uh, from Reason, the, uh, I would say, a journalist or te technology expert who makes fight aging. He, uh, his company, Repair, is, is a partnership between him and our entrepreneur, a Brazilian entrepreneur, uh, Khaled Guilherme Sherman, we, we, we know him, uh, uh, he's a very smart guy from Rio de Janeiro and, uh, and Reason is one of the most important names of the rejuvenation space. Uh, there are other company called uh, One Skin, uh, owned by a Brazilian uh, called Carolina Reis and she was uh, interviewed by uh, Reason in Fight Aging, she has uh, a company uh, which is focused, in fact, is focused on um, the aesthetic uh, part. Is 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 like a, it's not medical. Is to the skin. Is aesthetic, aesthetic field, but the regulation in the uh, uh, aesthetic field is different from medical field. So it's very interesting to use like, uh, a, let's say a beauty product uh, using senolipids, uh, for example. And so Brazilian people uh, can, can con contribute. So uh, it's the same for all the people like uh, in, in Russia, the rejuvenation field is very active uh, in Latin America, in Argentina, we have a great scientist from rejuvenation field, and in whole Europe, in fact, in uh, France, Germany. Uh, the, uh, some months ago, I found out in YouTube uh, uh, um, a video about the rejuvenation field, about uh, our degree ideas in German, in German language. But the, the field, uh, the, the video uh, seemed uh, awesome with uh, uh, the pictures and uh, uh, great text and every, everything but in German. So I, I thought why they didn't translate it in English at least to, to reach a wider audience. And I, I asked in Facebook for everybody I knew uh, there are some German speaking who could translate this to English because uh, the reach of that video in English would be, I don't know, 10 times uh, larger. So we want, uh, in fact, with NZ to uh, bring everybody, every, uh, the whole world to this, and we want the help of rejuvenation uh, uh, field translators. So we could uh, make, uh, organize organize a network of translators which could be a reference for the whole rejuvenation field like if if you if you have uh, like uh, 12 languages grant if, if you take a video you you do or an article and translate in 12 languages you can reach practically practically the whole world I want to say the whole world with 12 languages, uh, let's say English, Mandarin, Hindi, Spanish, Portuguese, uh, German, Japanese, Ara uh, Arab, Arabic, um, Russian, Turkish, I already said Turkish, uh, Turkish. Um, uh, There's a lot of languages, French, many, yeah. French, but there are 12, 12, 12 languages, with 12 languages. Ah, the Indonesia language, because Indonesia has like uh, 200, 
180 million citizens. Yeah. yeah. Or, or include the uh, Indonesian language. If you took 12, only 12 languages, we reach, you reach three quarters of the world population. So you don't need 200 languages. You need 12 languages to reach three quarters of the world population and more. These 12 languages would reach like 95% of the world GDP because if you take the English speaking countries, uh, China, uh, India, the Spanish speaking world, the 600 million people, uh, Indonesia, uh, the French, fr French is, is spoke in uh, some countries of uh, sub-Saharan Africa, it's, it's very important, Africa, it's, it's important, uh, the, the French and the English uh, and Portuguese for the uh, ex-colony, the former colonies uh, from, from Africa. So Japanese, Russian, Arab, German and Turkish, you have like 95% of the world GDP and three quarters of world population. So we don't need uh, uh, 200 languages. Uh, of course, of course, they are important as well. So if uh, one quarter of the world doesn't understand something, something is important. But uh, if, if a, a, an article or a, a video is translated in 12 languages, the chance that another translator uh, translate that subtitles in one of the other languages is far higher. That far higher than if the uh, subtitles are in just one language. So, uh, in fact, uh, if you if we had like uh, a network of these twelve languages I mentioned, we could uh, go global. You know. Uh, we could, for example, make an um, online conference today uh, with COVID-19 problem. Uh, COVID-19 problem. Many conferences in the longevity and rejuvenation field are going online. So that conferences are, are being carried out only in English. But if you had a team of translators translating that conference in, let's say, 10 or 12 languages, it's a global, trans uh, a global conference. The whole world could understand. So uh, that is our intention. I, I'm, I'm uh, uh, talking too much. So Nina, please <laughs> compliment me because I would be able to, to talk about three hours <laughs> about this subject. So that, that's the whole point, Nicholas. You know, you're very passionate about this. That's why I wanted to do this interview because it's something that I say all the time on my YouTube channel. Figure out what your skills are, your passions. You know, if you're watching my channel, then you're obviously already into rejuvenation, longevity. But figure out what you're good at, what you already have a background in. Or if you don't feel like you have really valuable skills, then start working on some skills that are really valuable and will be valuable moving forward. Things like marketing and sales are never going away. Those things are always gonna be really important, communication. And for those of you who might be thinking, well, AI can just translate everything right now. What are we wasting our time for in this interview? You know, Nicholas and Nina have shared with me in other private communications some really interesting feedback that it's probably about 80% of the language in rejuvenation can be translated by AI right now but it's not likely that AI is gonna be able to translate all of rejuvenation languages anytime in the next you know, five, 10 years. It's, it's hard to predict technology, but not anytime soon because two reasons. Number one, longevity, rejuvenation, scientists are always coming up with new words as they invent and discover new things. So they'll create new words. And then those words are not best to just be shared throughout all you know the world in different languages as that one language it's best to translate them so Nina and Nicholas really uh, gave me foresight here and I kind of already knew these things but they really pieced the puzzle together for me this is really important so Nina why don't you share an example of that and why that is so important 
Yeah, uh, so one example that we have is uh, the latest book we translated, which is The Abolition of Aging by David Wood. And David Wood in the book, he creates like a, a new word to describe a concept, uh, which is rejuvenating or the uh, rejuvenation engineering, just like, I don't know, biological engineering. There are several kinds of engineering. So uh, rejuvenating is the rejuvenation engineering. And if you speak English is, uh, and you hear rejuvenating, it's very uh, obvious that you're talking about rejuvenation and engineering. So when David Wood chose this word, he wanted to, uh, uh, he wanted people to understand that it's both things. But if you use the same word, like uh, let's say if we translated the book into Portuguese and we didn't, we kept the same word, rejuvenating. Uh, people from Brazil wouldn't understand that. They would only understand the uh, reju part the, from rejuvenation, but the nearing part from engineering is not uh, obvious. Uh, you can't understand that if you don't speak English. Um, so this is one example. And another thing is that uh, most translators and we, of course, we use uh, AI technologies to help us translate because uh, they, aren't, they aren't perfect. So, so we all always, even with uh, simple paragraphs or simple text, always there is something that you have to change because the AI didn't quite get what the, the writer was saying. But, uh, but it's really useful because you can usually work faster. So you, you can have, uh, you can work uh, more you can you can do more uh, translate translations you can decrease the cost of translation so uh, more people can uh, can have access to this kind of service they uh, it becomes something that they can afford uh, so we actually uh, it's important for translators to work with these uh, technologies not against and um, <laughs> and it's, it's also what you were saying, like, well, there are, there are those new words that uh, some people came up with, but also there are, there are scientific words that are not new, but they are not very used, they're not so common, even in English. And so sometimes we, we didn't find the translator, translation in Portuguese. So we had to do the translation for the first time because even English, uh, they aren't words that are so commonly, commonly, commonly used. Um, so yeah, that's, yeah. that's the point. For example, uh, there is a, another part of that explanation that uh, it, it has to do with the quality because uh, it's not the same to translate something like a scientific paper or to translate a uh, let's say um, the instructions manual of, a press release. Uh, or a press release uh, so uh, or a book if you write a book like we had many books of the rejuvenation space like uh, David Sinclair launched a book recently David Sinclair wouldn't use the machine translator and okay my book is already translated in 30 languages with this machine translator. No, he would like uh, that af after that, uh, so someone who uh, understands the, the science and the concept would uh, re uh, revise, uh, would review that translation. So uh, if you think about uh, the, the quality, uh, you realize that the important thing for the translators, uh, it's, it's not, uh, uh, is how much of the work is done uh, by the uh, artificial intelligence. I mean, uh, if the artificial intelligence uh, do 80% uh, of the work for the translators, this is, this is very good. Why? Because uh, this allow allows the translators to work 
uh, one fifth of the time they would work. So the, as, and as Nina told you, the cost will be uh, far lower. And if you think about it, there is no lack of necessity of translation in the world. This is a very important idea. Uh, a world in which uh, 200 uh, languages are spoken. It's very inefficient in a certain point of view because you can't communicate uh, uh, correctly uh, in, in the whole world. So people uh, had difficulty to, to coordinate effort and everything. It's not efficient, a world like that. So uh, if you could integrate linguistically people in the world, there, there is always a shortage of this, of this integration. The only thing which limit the quantity of translations in the world is the cost. Because if there were no cost, it's excellent. Oh, I will send a product, uh, this cheese, and I want to sell it uh, for the whole world. Uh, for me, if I can translate the, the ingredients of this cheese in uh, 200 languages for uh, $10, excellent. So I will do it. Companies only don't do it because it's expensive. So if the, uh, for translators, uh, the expansion of the market caused by the use of technology is excellent because there, are no shortage, there is no shortage of, ne of necessity of translator, translation, you know? So uh, people often say this, no, but the, the Google translator translate this. Okay, but when, when you need it uh, right, when you need a good translation, uh, it's not enough, uh, the, the, the Google Translator, or, or even uh, more powerful uh, tools. In fact, there, there are uh, programs very powerful to translate. Uh, so, but even, even those uh, programs need, uh, yes, these softwares need like uh, post-editing work. So you have to take that translation and uh, verify if it's everything all right. So, um, in fact, we are not afraid of technology. In fact, uh, technology uh, allows us to expand our market. So, in, in, in this case, we, we uh, technology, as in uh, all the fields, is our ally. That's perfect. So the way that I see it is this is a huge chicken and the egg type problem right now where we have a globe full of uneducated people about the state of rejuvenation, technology and science and where it is now and where it's likely going to be going soon. And if we can make an impact on this, even a small impact to get this you know, ball rolling a little bit more, then the ball can get bigger and bigger and bigger as it rolls down the hill and have you know, a snowball effect in this case. And so the big problem is that we have a lack of knowledge as far as rejuvenation and globally throughout different languages. And then we have a lack of knowledge even within the rejuvenation field about how big of a problem this is. And I was not, I'd thought about this, but Nicholas, you and Nina have really educated me about how big of a problem this is and how big of an impact you all can have, but we got to get that ball rolling, you know? And so, when it comes to economics, that's where things are, are difficult sometimes to get the ball rolling, you know, to translate David um, Sinclair's book, for example, into those 12 languages, that's going to cost money, time, energy, effort. And that's just one example. But then once those things get done and these ideas start permeating to, you know, 75% of the people on the planet, 95% of the, um, you know, major uh, people that you mentioned, then I think that we can really have a massive impact on the world and people's knowledge and policy making, because it is people who will demand change from their governments. And that is very important for scientific research. And so 
I really appreciate you all, you know, sharing this knowledge with our, with our audience. And I really appreciate your passion. I hope that folks, even if they don't take action right this moment, they'll at least remember this video when it might come time to think about some type of translation service and what, uh, you know, they can do is just get in touch with you all at any point. And so there's also Facebook, LinkedIn, we'll have your all's uh, links there in the show notes below. Uh, Nicholas also is on Lev Sciences with a, uh, with a profile there that you can get in touch with him as well. And he already mentioned you can email him from the contact page on NTZ. Yes, uh, I think Nina is in Lev Sciences as well. And another thing I, I could mention is, is that, uh, if you look at our life and uh, our technology, uh, it's uh, let's say a, a word word made technology. Uh, the numbers we use in uh, Western societies are uh, from India and uh, the Arab world, the Indo Arabic algorithms. So uh, the language uh, we use in uh, not only the English-speaking country, but the whole Western countries are uh, uh, ha have a strong influence from Latin. That, that is a language from uh, part of Italy. Uh, the food we eat, uh, tomatoes or potatoes, are from the uh, pre-Columbian people from uh, America. And uh, uh, I don't know, the, the spaghetti uh, and the artificial fire uh, is fireworks. fireworks are from, from China. And uh, if you look at what we have today, uh, it was made by the whole world. Uh, in, in, in our particular moment, English speaking countries are the, uh, I would say, the strongest countries in the world, the dominant countries, or I could say the European uh, matrix, it's nowadays in this, this specific moment of history is, is dominant, but it's just a moment in the history. So before English speaking countries were the Iberic speaking countries like Spain and Portugal, and before then uh, China, and before then the Arabic countries, uh, were a, a great uh, power in the world. So uh, everything we have, like uh, a glass or uh, simple technologies like the Greeks invented, uh, we are humans. So we can't expect everything will be invented by just one uh, uh, culture. This is this is uh, this doesn't make sense. So uh, this is why we we want to bring everybody to the rejuvenation world, because everybody and bring, them, and bring them together too. That's a big key thing that I think you guys are doing. You're bringing them together, at least you know trying to do that. And I've heard from interviewing a lot of rejuvenation thought leaders on my channel that China actually could end up being the country that has the biggest impact on rejuvenation research in the next decade or two. And I certainly don't speak Chinese. I, I would like to have those, uh, all of their incredible work going on in China translated to English. So it's, it's just, I can't underestimate how important it is the work that you guys are aspiring to do and have already done. However, I can't also underestimate how little I was thinking about this. And so I'm continuing to audit my own thoughts every single day and think about where I should be spending my time, energy, and effort uh, in this longevity, rejuvenation, anti-aging world. And, and I think that we're in the very early stages of people understanding how important this translation work is because it's, it's, there's hardly any of it done. It's unfortunate that most of this work is, is currently done in English. And that definitely does need to change. And so I really appreciate you all, you know, trying to do everything you can to have an impact here. One thing that I would like to say is that you, you said that we need to use our skills in, in, this, in this area. And maybe there are people watching, uh, they, they 
don't have uh, skills uh, specific for the area or maybe they can't like leave their jobs. But if they speak more than one language, they can start translating things. Like, uh, I don't know if they watch this video and then speak, they speak uh, German and English, maybe they can uh, submit subtitles if, if they want, you know, it's something that if you speak more than one language, you always can do a bit of translation. Even if it's not such a high-end translation, just like uh, something that you want to do to help, like a voluntary work, you know? So this is another thing that uh, it wouldn't be such uh, as what we were saying, like to build a network of translators, but uh, people can always do this. They can always help uh, with these kind of things. Yes, and, and this is important because uh, of course, translation is a, uh, is a profession who has specific techniques, of, okay, but uh, this is something that can be learned uh, because if a person has the most important things, which are uh, rejuvenation field uh, knowledge and passion, and a passion, mission-minded person, and besides, uh, these people uh, speak two languages. If a, a person uh, met this criteria, uh, this person could talk to us. We will help this person to, uh, to learn some things about translation in order we will uh, explain the, the, the softwares, we will explain the basic techniques, the, the tips. So we, if uh, there, there are people who speak more than a language, the most important thing we will do now is to call people to contact us so we can uh, become a reference for the rejuvenation field. And as Nina told you, you don't need to be an expert in, in translation. Uh, if you are passionate about it, uh, we can uh, build a relationship in order to, to, to help. Because I know uh, translators from, uh, let's say, Al Albania or, or Israel. The, the, the thing is that uh, when we... Uh, when we meet other people that are not uh, native speakers of English, but are in the rejuvenation area, uh, a lot of them are translators because they are the people who know English well enough yes. <laughs> to, to understand the videos and, and the conference and everything. So uh, there's a, a lot of translators already in the rejuvenation area because Usually they are the people who are yes. English enough. Yes, I'm talking to a, a guy from Albania uh, in English about the rejuvenation field, about some uh, scientific paper. Uh, the chance that this guy is a translator is high because that those are the people who, who uh, can interact uh, internationally. So this is the most important thing uh, in NTZ, uh, publicacois.com. Uh, there are the contact information and you can reach us and let's let's build this network perfect let's end with the wonderful testimonials that you have just recently been given by you know the three authors of the books so maybe Nicholas you can read one and Nina as well yes let's uh, explain a little about this testimonial uh, we translated those three books from the rejuvenation field uh, by... It was Ending Aging by Over the Gray with Michael Ray, uh, La, Mor La Muerte de la Muerte, which is The Death of Death, from Jose Cordeiro and David Wood, and The Evolution of Aging from David Wood. And uh, in our website, we put like uh, testimonials that they, they wrote about our work. So, yeah, so that's well, it. Uh, let, let, let's, let's read them. Uh, Aubrey the Grey 
uh, road. Nicholas and Nina are a huge asset to the longevity crusade. They are highly dedicated and skilled translators and publishers who did a terrific job translating my book and in aging into Portuguese. Now we have uh, Jose Cordeiro testimonial. Energy. <laughs> energy, yes, yeah. the guy of energy. Uh, the Viva la revolucion. Viva la revolucion, exactly. Yeah, that's Jose Cordero, if you guys don't know. He's always doing that, I love it. Yeah, he's very excited. Mm -hmm. uh, so his testimonial is, uh, the rejuvenation endeavor needs specialized knowledge, quality, and commitment to the project for the necessary translations and linguistic services. And NTZ by Nicholas and Nina can provide these services reliably. Okay, Besides and that, hand the paper sorry? to me and I'll read the last one. Hand the paper over to me and I'll read the last one. <laughs> no, we have in our computer. <laughs> yes. Uh... I, yeah, look, the computer. I know, your face was funny there, Nicholas. You're like, what? What is he talking about? I was, I was making a very bad attempt at a joke. You're in Brazil. <laughs> I'm in uh, Folsom, California. So please go ahead. Yeah. Um, we have a third uh, testimonial from David Wood, uh, who wrote The Abolition of Aging. Uh, he, hope, he wrote, I have been extremely impressed by Nicholas and Nina in all my interactions with them as they translated The Abolition of Aging. It's not just that they are efficient, diligent, and reliable. It's also they, that they are deeply, they deeply understand the field of rejuvenation, and they are doing all they can to accelerate positive progress in the field. The MTZ initiative takes their commitment one stage further by making available many important resources which can inform and engage everyone interested in the field. I have great confidence in their ability to organize and curate this material, thereby helping the global rejuvenation community to pay more attention more quickly to truly groundbreaking articles, events, trials, and opportunities. And I have to say, uh, obviously, thank you for uh, those uh, people, uh, extremely important in the rejuvenation field. And I have to say that we were inspired by David Wood because while uh, when we were translating the abolition of aging, David told told us exactly uh, the same. He he suggested in the book. Yeah, in the book. Yeah, the book. In the book. <laughs> the book told us. Uh, David uh, wrote in the book that. Uh, everybody should uh, use the skills they have. So we put, put that in practice. Oh, okay, we'll do it. So uh, we, we recommended that those books, not because we translated, it's the contrary, it's the opposite. We translate them because we recommend it. So if you want to uh, learn about the longevity uh, area, uh, start with ending aging and the abolition of aging and La Muerte de la Muerte if you are Spanish speaker or Portuguese speaker. So... Yeah, and I also would like to add that uh, if someone who is watching is someone that is from the rejuvenation area and is interesting, interested in uh, translation work that if you want to, I don't know, translate videos or documents, you can also, of course, uh, contact us. And yeah. yes, uh, well, this is another part. Uh, obviously, if there is a, a any scientist, any translation work at all, contact Nina and Nicholas for, for under, even if it's not even Spanish, Portuguese, or English, Russian, whatever, we want Nicholas and Nina to really. Uh, be the go-to people for translation services in the rejuvenation field globally. This is really important that we all work together and not just try and do our own thing. It's something that I've been personally trying to do better um, in this entire rejuvenation field. Networking, meeting uh, other people in this field and seeing how we can all work together 
and starting off, I'm in a fortunate situation where I don't have to necessarily worry about money at the, in the short term. We can just figure out how we can work together. And I feel like the revenue will all come eventually if we're building useful tools and products and services that people value. That's how I personally feel about this. Yeah, well, uh, of course, uh, we already know uh, many translators in many languages. Uh, I translated uh, since 2005, so I know translators from uh, French, German, so we are calling to, uh, to translators, contact us, to expand that network. But in fact, we already had a network. If tomorrow we need to translate something in practically, uh, practically any uh, Western language, we could, we could do it. Uh, but we want to expand that, and especially with rejuvenation field translators. That those people are uh, very special for NTZ. Yeah. Perfect. And so on that note of taking the skills that you have and constantly trying to improve and audit your own thoughts to get better, I want to give a huge shout out to Rowan Horn, who edited my last video with Ben Gortzel. If you haven't checked that out, it is AGI to end aging. I hope you can check that out. It'll be in the show notes in the link below. And Rowan is going to be editing uh, all of my YouTube videos, hopefully moving forward. We just uh, don't have any contracts, just verbally we're working together. And so, yeah, think about how you can contribute to the longevity field if you don't have translation services and just really think about that. And you can contact me. I'd be happy to you know, understand what your situation is and, and how you might be able to contribute. So if you've noticed the production value going up, then that's Rowan Horn. Thank you so much to, to Rowan of Eternal Life Fan Club. And also I'm going to be figuring out uh, the video here to get the quality up a little bit better. And also probably going to be start live streaming soon. We've been playing around on Eternal Life Fan Club's YouTube channel with some live streaming. And this uh, OBS open broadcast software is really fantastic for live streaming. So definitely check those things out as well too and, and stay tuned for that on this YouTube channel. Any final words, Nina and Nicholas? Um, well, I just uh, want to thank you for this interview. And again, uh, tell everyone that if you are a translator, please uh, contact us so we can build this network. And also if you are watching and you never thought about translation or why it's important, uh, just remember that uh, it's a very big world <laughs> and uh, things can come from all over the, the world. So it's important to connect everyone. Well, I would like to thank Brent as well. I think he's uh, the best interviewer in the rejuvenation space. Let me uh, make that compliment. Uh, and uh, I, I, again, uh, our email is is in the is in the uh, information about the video, and we want to to integrate uh, the whole world. So uh, let's let's keep it up, and let's end aging because this is the this is the goal, right? The goal is not translate or make interviews. The goal is to and aging because if we don't end aging we all gonna die and everybody we know will uh, die so even if you're uh, everybody you know and you like uh, will die and this is this is not a good thing uh, and and probably, I mean, we will probably all die at some point, but maybe thousands or millions or billions of years from now. That sounds better to me than, you know, a measly, yeah. I'm 35 than a measly 50, 60 years. Ho hopefully, hopefully never. That's a philosophical <clears throat> wormhole, but, but. But you know, you know, Brent, uh, uh, humanity, uh, all humanity do is, uh, is, is uh, in order to not to die. You know, we work, we uh, plant food, we make tools, we protect us from animals, we make vaccines. It's in order not to die. 
we don't have to uh, be afraid to say we don't want to die because anybody I'm, I'm certainly not afraid to say it I, I certainly don't want to die I try to be well, as scientific so, and reasonable uh, as possible though what, what I used to say what I used to say is that the rejuvenation preoccupation the rejuvenation field is just to add a long long term action because we we make actions in the short term to not to die like to work and earn money to buy food is a short uh, uh, a short term action we have a medium term action like well i will uh, build this house to in order that i can uh, have a shelter from the storm is a medium term actions we have long term actions like i will have a, a, a pension plan i will pay every month a pension plan or, or a health care plan to if if uh, in 20 years i have cancer i am treated so we have already those actions but people don't used to have a long 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 term planning the long 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 plan is to die <laughs> there is no actions to avoid it rejuvenation field is uh, just uh, an, uh, we are just adding another term the long long term actions we we have to continue having uh, making our short term action we our uh, uh, medium term action uh, our long term actions okay but let's add let's add the long 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 term action because we don't want to die now and we don't want to die tomorrow as well in the future uh, unless we are very decrepit and very uh, deteriorated in that we will want to die because we will be suffering so but if you ha we have good health why i would like to to die so it's just to add it's just to add a preoccupation people say ah you are uh, uh thinking about this uh but you are not thinking about the people we are uh, who are hunger now in the poor areas of your country no i i'm worried about that as well is a uh, short-term preoccupation. I, I, we have to solve that problem too. That is the question. So uh, we, I think we are just adding uh, a, a long-term preoccupation. We are not uh, li leaving behind other problems. We're also, Nicholas, we're doing the most compassionate work from a data-driven perspective. And unfortunately, most people on the planet do not uh, focus their life and their behaviors and their work based off data. So that's why I repeat on every single YouTube video that about 150,000 people die every single day on average, and about 110,000 of those people are dying from aging or age-related diseases. They're not dying from starvation. And starvation is not a problem in the first world for the most case for most people. It's actually overeating and overeating a bunch of crap to destroy their body. And it's aging and aging-related diseases that's killing the most people on the planet by far, over two-thirds of the people. That's a big reason why, that's the number one reason I'm working on this. And so everything you said is true. Um, I think of Naval Ravikant, who I repeat a lot of his sayings on my YouTube channel. He says, play long-term games with long-term people. And that's what I'm trying to do. I think that Nicholas and Nina, hopefully we have built a long-term relationship and I want the audience to think about long-term. You don't have to take action right this moment, but just remember, Nicholas and Nina, they are the translation people for rejuvenation, longevity, uh, science uh, for the long term. So get in touch with them if you need to do anything there. I'm so appreciative you know, to Rowan Horn, who's helped me with my editing. I'm trying to improve everything that I'm doing and the people that we're working with and, and network and build you know, this community because there are a lot of things in this longevity, rejuvenation, anti-aging community that need to be built for us to reach longevity, escape velocity. And um, the more that I network with these people and interview rejuvenation experts, the more I realize that 
there's a lot of things that need to be built and translation is very, very important there. And so I really appreciate your all's passion. And I also believe that you all are just getting started in your mission of uh, rejuvenation translation. I know that this is the very beginning and I know what it's like to be an entrepreneur um, trying to build things and start from nothing and, and get that momentum going. And that's the most difficult uh, part. But I also know that you guys are uh, trying to build something that will be that should be incredibly valuable right now and will be more and more valuable in the future. So when you're frustrated and you think like quitting at some point, just power through that and figure out a way to um, to get it done. So thank you all uh, so much for your time today. I want to let the audience know that I have uh, more interviews coming up uh, shortly and you can follow me on social media to kind of see how I think about this and who I'm thinking about interviewing. Uh, feel free to let me know who I should interview next. I also just had an article come out in Denora Delphin's incredible magazine, Immortalist magazine. It's issue number four. And my article is called Be Careful Who You Follow. And that's a quote directly from Naval Ravikant. So that's something else I want the audience to think about. Be careful who you're following on social media because COVID-19 is not the biggest problem on the planet as the media and governments are making you think it is. Aging and aging related diseases is by far the biggest problem on the planet if you define a problem as something that's not just killing people, but withering them away slowly into a decrepit state and destroying you know, uh, families and social systems as we have to care for our, our loved ones as they get older. And my wife's grandmother is 95 years old right now in a nursing home. And it's really sad because she's literally locked in there. She can't even leave and she can't have any, any visitors. So she's quite literally a prisoner there right now. It's really crazy times with COVID-19. And I want to shift all the focus of this COVID-19 stuff to rejuvenation research. That's what matters most. We need translators to come in. We need all sorts of people to come in. And this is where everybody's minds should be shifting focus to right now. And so I, I just really appreciate Nicholas and Nina, you all taking the time to do this. And I hope that this has some type of an impact uh, in some way. So I just talked a lot there. Final words from Nina and Nicholas. Uh, wow, just uh, thank you for, <clears throat> sorry. <laughs> thank you for this interview. And I don't know, let's do it. Energy. <laughs> Energy. Yes. Energy. I, I will copy Jose Cordeiro and we started to, to comment energy in. in yeah. In, oh, I'm doing that now on Facebook and LinkedIn as well, too. With everything with Jose, I just say energy. And uh, I love his Viva la Revolucion. I don't say it well because I'm English. Viva la Revolucion. There we go. You do that way better. Why don't you do it one more time? Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, thank you, Brad and everybody who is watching. All right, we'll see you all next time. Okay, bye-bye. Forever young, I want to be forever young.